please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and welcome to all my friends from your friend astrology and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance we have done some videos earlier also of planets when they are placed from each other rather than placed from the lagna or place in specific signs we are doing this series of planets what kind of results they bring what kind of probabilities they bring when they are placed from each other today we are going to talk about mars versus moon in the horoscope or mars when it is placed in various places or houses from the moon what kind of results it can bring about what kind of probabilities it can give to the native so firstly moon and mars together they are friendly planets however one of the important things is mars gets debilitated in the sign of cancer and moon gets debilitated in the sign of scorpio which means both the planets get debilitated in each other signs now an important thing is that the moon and mars together also make a very strong chandra mangal yoga what is the chandra mangal yoga a very important strong yoga where the energies of mars the go getting aggressive goal setting energies of mars combined with the energies of the mind the focus the thinking the ability to be imaginative the ability to to be creative and these come together and give it's a very strong yoga but the chandra mangal yoga has not been described as a very very good and a powerful yoga and hence when moon and mars are together in a conjunction or whenever they are in kendra to each other which means they are placed either fourth from each other or seventh from each other or tenth from each other then to the chandra mangal yoga is formed however this yoga has been called as a yoga which has which can go either ways which means as long as you are able to control the energies of mars and moon in a creative manner and in the control fashion it can give you good results however the moment one overcomes the other then there can be a challenge so moon and mars together in any house there if the person become more emotional and allows the emotions to control his or her energies which means that most of your energies of mars are used up of oh, even wasted in your thinking you are most of the time thinking you are overthinking and you are emo over emotional about certain things and most of the time goes in that even sometimes you spend so much energy about thinking of something which may not be very very important that you end up overthinking and because of this overthinking you bring about challenges to your mind you may even go get into a depression because all the energy is focused on getting into a depression or afflicting your your mind with unnecessary challenges even if you are in a situation which is a which is which may be a situation which is a challenging situation the because of the over emotionality or because of the over aggressive or assertive energy of the moon of the of mars and not and completely curbing the thinking ability of moon here too you may end up spending too much energy in certain things without thinking enough about it so rushing into dangers and your your mind is following in that direction so all your focus is taken away in trying to achieve that goal or trying to achieve that thing if the balance is not there so this is a very good yoga uh, achievement in you know bringing yoga because your energies of mars energy of you know go uh, goal setting and go getting energy is combining with the thinking ability and as we know various shlokas say wherever the moon goes everything it follows at least even the soul follows so here if your thinking takes over your aggression or your your ability to do things or vice versa then too much energy may go in either ways and without being able to channelize the strong yoga properly so if your moon and mars together channelize your creative energy in a very in, in a goal setting manner which means that if you have these together understand what your goal is find your goal and then focus all your energy on that goal and be creative and and imaginative about it so first put down your plans on paper don't rush into things if you get some idea don't rush into that idea put it on paper look look at from all nooks and corners talk to somebody who is a wise counsel who you can depend on 
once all the uh, you know nooks and crannies have been closed and all the angles have been looked at then jump headlong into it and then don't waste energy but all along also don't curve your creativity and imagination because if you are able to use this together it's a fantastic yoga for getting high achievements in whatever house it is if moon and mars are together in the fifth house then you can do very very well in any career of your choice wherever whichever you like wherever your interests are if it goes into the 10th house you can use your creativity and imagination and your energy to go to set any goal and get any goal if moon and mars get together in the second house then you can use all your creativity and your imagination and your energy to get achieve any sort of a saving any sort of a livelihood any sort of a learning also because the focus is there so if you have moon and mars together in any house use your creativity to your advantage a very very powerful yoga if used very very well if not if the balance is not there if one is running out rough shot over the other then it can bring more challenges than bring gains so that is the placement of mars and moon together in any house mars placed second from the moon is a good placement of how you can use your energy and your focus and your goal getting energy to get higher earning using your imagination and creativity because moon is your imagination and your creativity mars is going into the second house from moon here we are not talking about the lagna yet we are talking about any house that moon is placed in and mars is placed second to it which means for example if moon is in the fourth house and mars goes into the fifth house then using your imagination and your creativity in the fourth house or about real estate or anything related to life's daily conveniences or support services or any manufacturing services or career associated with that and putting all your energy in achieving that you can get high gains because the fifth house is the house of gains fourth house the house of material benefits material positions so if moon is in the fourth house mars goes into the fifth house then you can get very high even real estate results very good houses you can get any sort of result and you can gain high from that industry so it's a two a prong gains you can gain from real estate and you can get earning from that industry wherever moon is placed if moon for example is placed in the 9th house and mars is placed in the 10th house then moon in the 9th house means tourism education high universities travel spirituality that can be an industry which you can gain out of focusing or using your energies and make it a career because moon is in the 9th house and mars is in the 2nd in yeah, mars second to it which is in the 10th house so wherever moon and mars are placed if mars is placed second to the moon then it's a good opportunity for you to get more earning more livelihood more savings using your creativity and using your imagination so if you have mars in the second house from moon focus all your energies use your imagination and your creativity and you may be able to earn more if you are in any any career where creativity and imagination cannot be used then this can also be an opportunity to get open up a second rung of earning for you also an added source of income also for you that is the placement of moon of mars second from the moon mars third from the moon is a slightly challenging placement if you are not able to use your focus in your communication ability and your self enterprise and effort well because third house from the lagna is effort so third house from moon means effort using your creativity and imagination so if you are able if you are able to use or put in more effort and focus your energy to be creative to be imaginative then you can get more gains out of it if you are not being if you if your focus and your energy is not focused on using your imagination and your creativity then mars can your energy and your focus which mars gives you or your goal setting energy or your aggressive energy can go to waste because it is not being supported by your creativity and your thinking so if you for example this can be a good placement for doing business because mars is going third from moon third house is also the house of self enterprise so whenever you want to do something of your own or you want to take off on a different tangent from what you have been doing so far this can be a good placement if you are able to focus your energy in the direction of your creativity and your imagination or where your moon is wherever your mind is wherever your heart is wherever your wherever your emotions are getting connected to any work 
or any thing that you feel you can do and then you focus your energy there and you put in lot of hard work then success can come to you over time so good placement using your social media using your communication skills using your imagination and creativity to get better results even in business or doing something of your own is this placement with mars third from the moon mars fourth from the moon is again a strong chandra mangal yoga because mars and moon place in the first or together or fourth seventh or tenth from each other is a strong chandra mangal yoga but now mars has gone fourth from the moon actually moon place from fourth from mars is the kal purush kundli mars rules the first house and moon rules the fourth here it is sort of exchanging of positions where moon is you know mars is placed fourth from the moon which means mars has in a way not exactly in the horoscope wherever they are placed taken over moon's position which means that moon is also because the moon is the ruler of the fourth house so the fourth house is the house of material possessions and uh, material benefits and tangible things that you can own the actual riches that you own tangible riches house car jewelry everything is also de denoted by not only the fourth house but also by your moon so mars going fourth from the moon means that through your effort you can add more avenues to your earning potential you can add more real estate you can add more cars you can add more jewelry you can add better gains or you can have a career connected to any of these so career connected to real estate career connected to home decor connected to you know cars production of cars selling of cars decorate and decor of cars second selling second hand cars or jewelry electronics anything and everything used in the house putting an effort there can be a good career for you as long as you are using your imagination and your creativity and your nurturing and your emotions are connected to that then can this can be a good placement this is a good placement for good real estate benefits anyways because mars is going forth from moon and mars mars is also the karaka of real estate such people can have good beautiful homes also and their focus and energy can go in the home also they will take more energy in domestic matters they may take more energy in doing up their house keeping the house clean in on their mind will always be in investments 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 where should i make an investment so that i can get more gain sort of it so creatively using your uh, your energy to invest in certain areas and get more gains out of this out of that area um, and in connected to the uh, you know to the fourth house areas of career is the placement of mars place fourth from the moon a good placement if you are able to use the energies properly and use your creativity and imagination to get more material positions in this placement mars place fifth from moon is a very very strong placement because now fifth from moon is a good placement better placement than fourth seventh or tenth from the moon because mars and moon in the together of fourth seventh and tenth gives a chandra mangal yoga but mars fifth from the moon is an even powerful placement because now gains are coming for you in the matters of using a creativity and imagination because the fifth house is the house of gains and because now if you are able to use your energy your focus your thinking ability well you are able to make the right choices then mars helps you or gives you the energy to be able to use your creativity and imagination and get gains such gains can also come in speculative investment so you can be a very good person uh, you can have a good focus you can have a good knack of making those investments in stocks or in the market share market because of which you can do very well you can make investments in property you can make investments in land you can make investments in it you can make investments in commodity so investments which can give you good gains is a good placement for this this is also a good placement where your emotions are strongly connected with the children and you focus a lot of time on the matters of the children denoting the time to your children or to make a change in your career you're always looking out for opportunities so this gives you a placement where even when you are satisfied with your career where you are you are also looking at opportunities what you what you may want to do what you may want to change what you may want to bring about a change or renewal of your career renewal of your job so if you are somebody who is sharp minded who can pick out opportunities well and you have done so in earlier and you have got success this is the 
route for you to take use your creativity and imagination and use something to do in that direction and that is good for you because the fifth house is also a house of hobbies so interest and what you love so doing something that you love and putting your energies and focusing your energies there and taking a risk in that line is the placement if both of them are very very strongly placed then there are a lot of people who have made converted your hobbies and your and using the creativity and imagination to get more success even more success than their than their careers as long as they play their cards very well so if moon and mars are very strongly placed mars is fifth from the moon then you may chase what you love to do chase your hobbies chase your interests chase arts chase those areas where you you can perform better where you can present your skills better and you may not look back when you are able to do that and do that well that is the placement of mars fifth from the moon mars sixth from the moon is a slightly tricky placement because sixth from um, mars sixth from the moon is a placement where mind and energy your energy are becoming sort of a inimical forces to each other so your energy is becoming sort of an enemy to your creativity and vice versa so if you're focusing too much energy in a direction without thinking and rushing into doing things uh, you know then your over exuberance your over energy your focusing too much effort in one direction is not allowing you to think creatively and imaginatively so you will find all the time you are on the move you are burning yourself up you are rushing to your to do your job then you are rushing home you are into something or the other there is no time for you to sit down sit back and relax and think am i in the right direction am i doing things right so too much work taking too much on your head taking too much to do is this placement if you find yourself very very rushed you may have this placement or if you have this placement then think whether you have been running like be like a headless chicken in too many direction without choosing one direction and focusing and moving there and getting gains out of it because this spoils your it doesn't allow you to be imaginative and creative enough to put your efforts in a direction and get gains out of it however this can be a good placement for a career a long term stable career because mars plays six from the moon which means that mars is a karak of the sixth house and mars helps you overcome all competition if you use your imagination and creativity which means that in matters of overcoming competition even competitive exams and doing well in creativity oriented areas imagination oriented areas this can give you good gains and you can overcome competition so if your work is getting connected to any creative endeavor maybe to fashion designing maybe to singing maybe to arts anything which is creative or home decor or construction or anything great which is creative when you're making something producing something offering some services in a creative manner this can be a great placement because mars six from the moon gives you an ability to overcome all competition and get gains out of that say for example a moon is in the second house a mars is in the seventh house then mars is sixth from the moon and moon is placed in the second house moon is now focused on getting more livelihood and mars has gone into the seventh house of partnerships so you are, you can you can get gains in a partnership if you are service oriented and you are able to use your creativity and imagination in that direction in whatever you do so good placement for doing business in a service oriented placement also is mars six from the moon as long as both of them you know you know you are not becoming enemy for each other your creativity and imagination is not becoming an enemy of your um your effort because you're spending too much time of thinking not doing anything while on the other hand you're spending too much time running around and not being able to focus what you actually do that is a placement of mars 6 from the moon mars and the moon 7 from each other is a very good placement as long as you're balancing both of them together very well this is sort of a placement of like moon and mars coming together however place 7 from each other aspecting each other means also it's a balanced energy of opposite ends this gives you a lot of energy to be able to do something very very creative and do something you know in the line of what you really want to achieve so focusing your energy in the area where you want to do very well is this placement for example if mars is placed in the fourth house and uh, mars is placed in the fourth house and moon is placed in the tenth house so using your creativity and imagination at your workplace 
getting more material resources or if Mars is placed in the fifth house and Moon is placed in the eleventh house, then using your creativity and imagination in a social endeavor and taking risks and then getting gains out of it is this placement. So as long as the, the energy is balanced well, you focus your energies in the area of where your imagination, your creativity is and using the creativity and imagination, you are able to take things along then it's good. If you allow one thing to take over the other, then you may not get as many gains as you want. Good placement where you are balancing between you and the others. The Lagna is you, 7th house is everybody else. So wherever it is, whether it's in the Lagna or 7th house or 4th and 10th or 3rd or 9th, it is a balance between, for example, Moon in the 3rd house and Mars in the 9th house. So putting in the effort to get higher education and then getting gains out of it. So that is the placement as long as it is balanced very well, a very very strong gain making position if Mars 7 from the Moon. Mars 8 from the Moon is a placement where you are most of the time focusing energy in you know uh, extinguishing fires or overcoming obstacles, overcoming upheavals because Mars is placed 8 from the Moon which means many times sometimes you overthink things and your thinking becomes an impediment to your energy and to your focus and to get goals and to achieve things. So what the person does, the person is most of the time you know, clearing the cobwebs of the mind because mind is becoming a hurdle to how much energy you are able to spend. On the other hand, sometimes spending too much energy in burning and putting out fires because you have taken too much and you are always you know, putting out extinguishing fires or overcoming obstacles, overcoming upheavals because of which you are not able to do anything creative, you are not able to focus energies is this placement when Mars is placed 8th from the moon. So if you have Mars 8th from the moon, the idea is to or what you need to do is focus your energies on doing something which is extracting information, research oriented work, those careers, those endeavors can do very very well for you because mind is using 8th house energies to do something creative and research oriented and get something out from where things have not been in, taken out before. For example, uh, taxation, audits, research, um, even those areas, uh, you know, research in medicine, research uh, related to finance, IT, manufacturing, medicine, uh, alternate medicine, surgery, surgeon um, and higher, uh, you know, education. Um, is all this being more imaginative and creative in real estate or in the related to the real estate industry is also this placement. So as long as you are research oriented, as long as you are able to be ready to think out of the box, as long as you are ready to be more innovative, this can be a great placement and don't lose too much energy chasing obstacles or upheavals or don't spend too much uh, creativity and don't, don't overthink because of which you end up creating obstacles for your own progress. So this is a placement of overcoming obstacles and upheavals but focusing energy well in the right direction and you can get a lot of gains with Mars place 8 from the moon. Moon, Mars place 9 from the moon is a fantastic placement because here you have been given the choice of becoming the boss of your own destiny. Mars place 9 from the moon which means that the thinking ability will help open the doors of fate and luck for you. Their thinking ability in your imagination on where your focus is, where your choices are, where your interests are, focusing your energy there to get higher learning, higher education, higher qualification out of that. So if you are interested in, in a certain area, then focus your energy there and you will get gains. If you are interested, interested in one area, however, your energy is spent on something other, even in something which is related to your job but you are not interested in it, your emotions are not connected to it but you are spending your energy there then you will get less gains. Chasing something which you, which you love, where you find your, your mind moving towards, your mind affiliated towards it and then putting that effort there which means the doors of fate and luck will open for you, gains will open for you, higher learning, higher qualification in that area will open for you, uh, getting access to foreign cultures or other cultures and gaining from them, traveling around the world and then gaining from it gaining from education, gaining from um, you know, you know, getting connected to PhDs and high universities is also displacement. 
every education qualification that you add will get you more gains for example if, if moon is in the third house and mars goes into the 11th house so here mars is placed ninth from the moon which means effort that you put in into using social media using creativity using your communication in the matters of social connection social network will get you great gains for you so mars place ninth from the moon use both the energies very well the doors of fate and luck are the keys of fate and luck are given to you use the key and turn the key to your advantage mars place 10 from the moon is a very very good placement because now your career is getting connected to where your focus is where your creativity is where your imagination is so if mars is placed for example in the lagna moon is placed in the fourth house so this is a great placement for great real estate success because moon is in your imagination and creativity and placed in the fourth house and mars has one tenth to it so here yeah, focusing your energies in a career or a job or business connected to the attributes of the fourth house if moon goes into for example the fifth house and mars goes into the second house then using your imagination and creativity in something that you like what you want to do chasing something like what your interests are and then gaining more out of it with mars in the 10th house and creating a livelihood out of that as displacement so where your mind is focused making turning that into a career or using your imagination and creativity and turning that into a career is this is this placement so a strong career a career of growth using your imagination and creativity is this placement if you are in a job which has no creativity attached to it then think about it again or bring in some creative element in your in your work and you will find that you will get more gains out of it uh, better gains will come over you know over a period of time to you and a stable career um, a career where you put more effort and you get gains and you are able to get rise through the career rise through the ladders very very fast very very uh, you know in a very creative imaginative um, way uh, moving through the ranks uh, with all your effort and your focus in this placement so if you mars 10th from the moon rethink in your career objective rethink where you are right now working and whether you are truly attached emotionally creatively imaginatively to that career or not otherwise rethink and you will find that moving in a direction where your your true emotions are and making a career out of it will place you better and that is the placement of mars 10th from the moon mars 11th from the moon is a very very good placement because here 11th house is the house of gains and 11th house is also the houses house of your wishes and desires which means using your energy with mars in the 11th house to think creatively to get your wishes and desires fulfilled in this placement which means whatever your wishes and desires are focus your energy there and keep your focus there and chase it with all your energy and all your wishes and desires can come through if both are placed well if not well placed and you're chasing whatever you wish and desire without thinking reasonably or without thinking practically it can be a downfall here so wherever your uh, moon and mars are placed think creatively for example the moon is placed in your fourth house and mars goes into the second house then your wishes and desires about home can come true with a higher earning that you get with mars in the second house or putting your effort more in save, saving and through that get, get gain, uh, gaining out of that moon is placed in the fifth house and mars goes into the third house for example here yeah, using your imagination and creativity and taking a risk connected to your career and putting in the effort because mars goes into the third house using your communication skills using your social media using marketing yourself well branding yourself well and then gaining out of your social connections extended network in this placement a great placement for getting all that your heart wishes and desires for as long as you keep the focus and use your imagination and creativity and move in the direction and take people along and use your social network and your extended network to get gains and that is the placement of mars 11th from the moon mars 12th from the moon is a tricky placement if you are not able to keep well because what happens 12th um, is a placement of losing waste of wasteful effort waste waste of energy and your mars is going 12th from the moon which means a waste of energy if your mind is not able to focus well 
वेस्ट ऑफ योर एफर्ट्स इफ योर माइंड इज नॉट थिंकिंग क्रिएटिवली क्रिएटिवली एंड इमेजिनेटिवली सो समी वर्क वर्क लॉन्ग आवर्स विदाउट थिंकिंग विदाउट थिंकिंग क्रिएटिवली इन इमेजिनेशन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच मोस्ट ऑफ द एफर्ट इज गोइंग वेस्ट यू फाइंड दैट यूर पुटिंग इन द एफर्ट बट यू आर नॉट गोइंग एड एंड करियर यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द प्रोमोशन यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द इंक्रीमेंट्स एंड अदर सीम टू बी मूविंग फास्टर दैन यू इज दिस प्लेसमेंट this is also very spiritual placement if you know um, you know where you are spending your energies so spending um, focusing energies on spiritual matters or in charity or working for others and doing more for others or getting connected to armed forces or getting connected to hospitals clinics is this great placement because mars moon is the nurturer the supporter and mars is the general 12th house is also has the disseminations of armed forces and hospitals mars is very very strongly connected to armed forces moon is very strongly connected to the medical profession so this can be a good placement to be a surgeon can be a good placement to be somebody who is also in foreign services also uh, can get good uh, gains out of the foreign land if your focus and energy is not dwindling if you allow your creativity and imagination to focus in too many directions then your effort goes waste so thinking i'll do this today then changing your mind tomorrow then thinking of something day after tomorrow is not this then all your effort goes to waste so if you focus your energy on something at least give 2 to 3 years before you focus on on to something else if you lose your focus quickly and then you move on to another project then another project or one career or another career or one job and the other then all your efforts goes to waste in this place so be very when mars goes into the 12th from the moon because you may be not being able to focus well you may not be able to focus on one area be stable there persevere in that for at least some time and only when you feel nothing is coming good then only you change your focus otherwise all your effort will go to waste those 3 4 years will also go waste in this placement if you are doing more for others for general society and want to do more in terms of doing something giving back leaving a strong legacy being charitable being helpful and supportive for others nurturing which moon brings and keeping your focus there then it's a good placement and this is a good very karmic placement also for you so friends look at where mars is placed from the moon in your horoscope and understand that placement very well and use that creativity and the energy and the focus very well to get better gains out of that placement friend like this video or share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me the links given below until some other time with some other video this is the friend solgian guide from signing off ciao